When we think of the Tyrannosaurus rex, this is the monster we think about, an apex predator that grew over 12.3 meters long and nearly four meters tall, that dominated its range during the Upper Cretaceous period. But T. rex is just the biggest member of a family of dinosaurs called the Tyrannosauroids. And Sterling Nesbitt from Virginia Tech University, digging in New Mexico, recently announced the discovery of a distant, older relative. This is one of the last small Tyrannosauroids, and that helps us confine when Tyrannosauroids got big and reached some of the sizes that we see at the very end of the Cretaceous. The Suscatyrannus hazelae, as it's called, lived about 20 million years before T. rex, so its discovery is a clue as to the time frame when this little predator became the huge predator we know today. The skull of Tyrannosaurus rex is five and a half, six feet long, and our whole animal would be eight, nine, 10, 11 feet, but most of that's tail. So when you think about mass, the skull of T. rex would weigh way more than the entire body weight of this animal. Nesbitt and his team found the dinosaur 20 years ago, but it took that long for them to realize this was a new species. Kevin Enix, VOA News.